I'm going to show you real motherboards where we can see the motherboard components one by one. So we're going to study three kinds of motherboard that you can find usually in the market. Okay, so let's get started. So basically this is the block diagram that we have seen before. So as I told you before, if you understand just one block diagram, you can understand any other block diagram and any other motherboard architecture. Because always the motherboard, the laptop motherboard has the same working principle. Okay? So we're gonna see and study three types of motherboard as you can see. This is the first. Here we have the second and here we have the third. Basically, these three motherboards are different from each other. So, if you focus here, you will see that this motherboard, for example, as you can see, contains four chipsets, as you can see. Here we have one, two, three, and this is four. Okay? For this motherboard, as you can see, it contains just three chipsets. One, two, and three. And for this one, as you can see, it contains just two chipsets. One, two. So, as we have seen before, in the block diagram, as you can see, here basically this is the CPU, as you can see. Here we have the North Bridge or the GMCH, and here we have the ICH. Sometimes you can find that this GMCH is separated. You will find the graphic card and do not bridge separated from each other. But here, the graphic card is integrated with the not bridge. That's why we call this chipset, as you can see, GMCH, Graphic Memory Control Hub. Okay? And sometimes you can find that also the ICH is integrated with the GMCH. Then we called it the PCH. Okay, so let's see the first motherboard as you can see over here. So here we have the CPU as you can see. Near to the CPU we have the North Bridge or the MCH. We call it here MCH or Memory Control Hub because the graphic card is separated from the North Bridge. So the CPU or the processor, the North Bridge or the MCH and over here we have the graphic card okay and then here we have the ICH the input output control hub so here in this motherboard basically we have four chipsets as you can see okay so we this motherboard basically is an old motherboard and of course we have here the RAM the random access memory Okay, and here we have the IO, the super IO over here. So here basically this is the clock generator. Okay, the clock generator I see. Exactly as we have here in the schematic clock generator, you will find always the clock generator next to the CPU. As you can see, we have the clock generator and we have the CPU. And always near to the clock generator, you will find a crystal oscillator. As you can see, we have here Y2. So the crystal oscillator reference is y or x so then we have inductors this is basically cpu channels for this cpu we have two channels as you can see always you will find inductor mosfets and serum capacitor inductor mosfets and serum capacitors and of course in the back we're gonna find mosfets so as you can see here mosfets this is basically the cpu so let's move to the next motherboard as you can see here basically we have the cpu and here we have the gmch the graphic memory control hub so here the graphic card is integrated with the north bridge as you can see and here we have the ich so three chipsets as you can see three chipsets and of course we have the ram slots over here we have here the BIOS, the basic input output system. So as you can see here, this is the BIOS and this is MOSFETs. Those also are MOSFETs. So always the BIOS size is bigger than MOSFETs. Okay? Here for the processor, as you can see, we have channels. We have two channels for the, the processor. This basically is not for the processor. This is this is for VCCP, okay, for Northbridge. Also, uh, 
for for all chipsets. Okay, so here we have the first channel, here we have the second channel. So we have two MOSFETs with this inductor and also two MOSFETs with this inductor. Okay, and of course we have other circuits as you can see here. So for the third motherboard, as you can see, this is basically an improved motherboard, as you can see. So here we have just two chipsets, as you can see, two chipsets. So here we have the CPU, and over here we have the graphic card with the not bridge. Okay, CPU, graphic card, and not bridge in one chipset. And here we have the ICH. Okay, so always you will find the BIOS near to the ICH and to the super input output. So here we have the IO, the super IO, as you can see. Here, basically, here we have the charge IC, as you can see, or the adapter battery charger. So this is the charge IC circuit, where we have the power jack, as you can see, connector, the battery connector, the power switches or MOSFETs. Here, as you can see, also we have, for this MOSFET, basically, we have three channels, as you can see three channels for this MOSFET, okay? So, always inductor means a channel. So, for the ICH, as I told you before, the ICH is the controller for all ports and connectors in the motherboard. So, it controls all ports and connectors of the motherboard, okay? As you can see, here we have the, the ICH, it controls all ports and connectors in the motherboard. Besides of super IO, so this one and the BIOS chip, this one. So this squares, as you can see, means chipsets and ICs. This is the CPU. Okay, here we have the CPU, as you can see. Its model is Yona 478. So the CPU is connected to the North Bridge, as you can see, to Kali Stoga via. FSB. This is the bus. The North Bridge is connected via DMI or direct media interface to the ICH. The South Bridge is connected to all ports and connectors in the motherboard. Here we have USB connectors, as you can see. Here we have the new card connector, the fingerprint connector, the SIM slot, as you can see. So for this chipset, as you can see, we have the Kali Stoga. Basically, here we have the North Bridge integrated with the graphic card, as you can see. So here we have RAM slots, as you can see. So basically, the RAMs are connected to the North Bridge. And here we have the video connectors, as you can see. We have S video. LCM connector and CRT connectors. Okay, so this is the proof that the, N, the graphic card is integrated with the North Branch.